Hey guys! Hey, I have a box full of art here. Now, all that artwork we did a couple of weeks ago. I bet you're wondering what we're going to be doing with it. Look at all of this color. We have that. Um, we have that fun watercolor. And I love that paint smudge and spatter you did. And some sponging. Well, we do have a plan with that today, but I need your help at home to get it started so we have enough time to get it done at art. Okay, so um, we're going to make a collage with all of those all of those art sheets that you did, all of that color that you made. We're going to make a collage, and here is an example of one that I did, just to give you an idea of what we'll be doing. Um, so here we cut up pieces of our artwork. We have some. I have some watercolor. This was done with bubbles, and we can show you that later. This is the sponging that you did, the paint smudge and spatter. This is that crazy roller that you, you did with Mrs. Hubert. This one was, is a watercolor and we used salt with that, but we didn't do that at co-op, but that's one that I did and this as well. This was using a dry brush and tempera paint. And so um, I'm going to give you the steps to do that today so that you can come to co-op ready. Oh, will you I'm here with my lovely assistant, Naomi, my camera assistant, by the way. Naomi, will you point the camera down here so we can see all the materials? In order to get prepared at home, you will need a plastic Ziploc bag, a scissors, a pencil, a crayon, a newspaper, and a piece of paper. And a red crayon specifically because it shows up on that newspaper really well. So those are the materials that you'll need. I will put them aside here. Naomi, can you uh, zoom in up here? The first step that you're going to do is you're going to pick an object or an animal. Keep the camera still. Pick an object or an animal to, to make a collage of. And specifically, you're going to want something that has pieces of the whole, all right? And so if you pick like a heart, it doesn't have pieces, right? Unless you do something like this. I mean, are you seeing this right here? Unless you do something like this where I made a heart and then I put puzzle pieces inside of it. So you could do something like that if something you truly love and really want to do does not have pieces of the whole, you could create pieces inside of it. Okay? So that's an idea. I picked a kangaroo. So the second thing, once you pick it, you need to draw it on your piece of paper. So you kind of practice drawing it. Once you get the drawing that you like, <laughs> Omi's giving me the thumbs up, pa practice drawing it. Okay, once you draw it on paper, you're ready to then, oh, let me show them this. Can you show them this? To draw it on your newsprint. And you're going to want to draw it a larger version of it. Okay, and I'll put this next to it so you can see this. Um, as you can see, um, you know, there's, thank you, Naomi, there's certain pieces of, of it that are on the inside of the animal. So I drew like the arms and the head and the baby's head, and I drew that the arms and the, ba the little baby kangaroo's head out here because later I'll be cutting those up. So you draw it on newsprint, then you take your red crayon, can you see that Naomi Rose? Yeah. Your red crayon and you trace the pencil drawings. I use marker so the camera would pick it up, but you can use a red crayon because sometimes, especially with newsprint, markers will go through the newspaper print and go onto your mom's floor. Do, do not use marker unless she's there. Unless she knows about it. Okay. So, see how I did that? I trace them. You, all right. Okay. Now, if you want to, you may stop there and bring your large piece of newsprint in. Stop at that point and bring this into co-op and then we'll finish it from there. Okay. If you, you can look it up at me now. If you, if you think you can manage the pieces of your, of your um, newsprint, then you can continue on to step five, which is to cut the individual pieces out. All right, so point it down, back down here, Naomi. So what you're going to do is, if you plan on cutting them out at home, you take your, your scissors and you start cutting them out at home. And now what I want you to do is, you know, I'm, not, I'm just going to do a real fast cut here because I don't want to um, take too much time. But you cut out one piece, take that piece, flip it around, and write what it is on there. Can you see that anywhere or is that too close? You write it always one on there. When you're done writing in the label, you label the back of it, not the front of it. You label the back of it. And then you stick it in your Ziploc. Now if you were one of those 
students in class who have has a sibling in class, you're also going to want to put your name on the outside of that Ziploc so you don't mess up your pieces together. All right? Oh, me not too close, honey. All right, so then now, now only when you get that one piece into the Ziploc can you start cutting another one. That's what I wanted to tell you. I don't want pieces smaller than the palm of your hand. Can you see me? I don't want pieces that are smaller than the palm of your hand because a bunch of tiny pieces will be really hard to keep track of. If you notice on that face, I didn't put any eyes, eyes up here, I didn't put any eyes on it or anything like that. So those details we can do at the very end, okay? So like see the arms, I mean yeah they are a little bit smaller than the palm of my hand but they're big enough to manage. See the foot, it's kind of big, especially that piece is there as big. And that piece is there as big, okay? And so once you get all your pieces, put them in your bag and bring them to co-op. Are you, look, are you seeing that? Okay. All right, now Naomi, look at the point there of this. Okay, so when you get to co-op, see my, you are going to take your pieces, okay, just to give you a heads up. And you're going to lay, see this is labeled foot. You can hardly see that. Can you see that? It's labeled foot. All right, so you'll put the label face down, and you are just going to draw right on top. Where's my pencil? Right on top of that of that artwork of yours. And I know that'll be totally painful to do because it feels like you're ruining your artwork, but you're really not. You're creating you're creating a collage here. Okay, once you do that, and then now since this is a leg, see that I'm going to make it longer so that I can glue it underneath here so it has something to attach itself to. Then I'm going to cut it out at co-op. This is what you'll do at co-op. Then I'm going to start cutting it out at co-op. See that? Then, as you cut it out, I will have these white paper, these large cardboards for you, tag boards for you. Then as you cut it out, then you're going to piece together your product. And you'll, it's a lot of trial and error. You might say, oh, I don't like it done in it because I made a few mistakes myself. Let's see where are a few. I'm not sure what I did with them, but I made a few mistakes myself. Like, I didn't really like, I started off with the body um, in the marble roll, and I didn't like that. And then I put the, I, don't, I guess I didn't use the marble roll at all. I put the marble roll for the arm, I didn't like that. Maybe I'll stick little ears in the, the little insides of the ear in for the marble roll. Hmm. Maybe that'll look nice. Let's see. That would get cute. And so, see what I mean about, like, when you get to co-op, then you can handle some of those small, tiny, little details. See this? So I could go like this and put that there for a year. See that? And I could, I could handle some of those tiny details at co-op. Okay? All right, eyes up, mom. All right, so that's it. Um, if you want to bring it in in pieces, bring your, cut it up, labeled in a bag, or you may bring the entire newspaper, and I'm right here, mom, up here. Bring the entire newspaper uncut. Okay?